Hey guys, um, I am gonna be making some chili today that's Optavia plant approved. I feel like there's nothing better to have on a snow day than chili. So to get started in my pan, I have um, one container, um, which is a little over a pound of 96.4 uh, reduced fat ground beef. I'm just browning that up. This is gonna make four servings in the crock pot. Um, it's gonna be a little bit short on your lean um, because you, need, you would need 24 ounces to do four servings. So it's gonna be a little short, but um, you can put a little bit of Greek yogurt, maybe like two tablespoons or so of Greek yogurt on top. It's like sour cream and your chili and it'll be delicious. Slash a little bit of cheese on top. So it gives you some room to play with some of those toppings, which I really like because those are great to add anyways. So while that's going in the pan, I've also chopped up. I have one cup of celery and one cup of um, mini sweet bell peppers. So this is going to count as four greens and there's four servings. So this right here will be one green um, per person. And then um, let, I'm going to get this all cooked and I will show you what we do next. All right, guys, so the best part about this chili is once you have the meat cooked and the veggies chopped, it's just dumping it into a crock pot and letting it go on low for two hours. So I'm going to put in my one and a half, or one and a quarter pounds of ground beef cooked down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my um, two, this is two cups of veggies, the celery and the peppers. So, so far in my pot, I have almost one lean, per person and one um, serving of veggies per person because a serving of veggies is a half a cup. I'm gonna do one can of these uh, fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then I'm also gonna do one can of these, um, it's like off brand Rotel, the diced tomatoes with green chilies. Together these have six um, one half cup servings. So this is gonna be a second veggie plus a little bit. So this still leaves you room to have like a salad on the side with your chili. So I'm gonna dump those right in. Once again, this makes four servings. So I'm gonna dump uh, the can of the fire roasted tomatoes and the Rotel in. Now I'm going to add, just depending on what I think it needs, I'm going to add about two cups of chicken stock, which will be a condiment here, or well, half a condiment, because it's for four servings. So I'm gonna do two cups of chicken stock. And I can add some more of this later if I need to, uh, just depending on how it cooks down. Sorry, my son's the turning on, the light off and on. Leave it on. Leave it on, please. So we're just gonna see how it cooks down with that two cups first. And if I have to add another cup, I totally have room in my plan for the day to do that. Um, you know what, I might go ahead. I think it's gonna need a third cup. So I'm gonna add a third cup of chicken stock. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna add a half a cup of chicken stock because I can open a new box if I need to. But so that's two and a half cups of chicken stock in the pan. Um, and then I'm going to add some seasonings now. I'm gonna add two tablespoons, oh, that was a little more, two tablespoons of chili powder. If you guys know me on plan, I don't usually count condiment, or I mean count spices as condiments. I just have a little bit left in there. We're gonna do what's left in there. Um, I don't usually count spices because this has zero calories, zero carbohydrates. It does have 40 milligrams of sodium per serving um, on here, which is only a quarter teaspoon. So it's, it's got some sodium, but we drink a lot of water. Um, so I will count that as a condiment since I did put a lot in. So you have in this container, and then I'm also going to add, um, one tablespoon of this Southwest Chipotle seasoning blend. It's salt free. So I am not going to count that, but I'm going to do one tablespoon of that. And then, um, you can add like red pepper flakes or whatever to taste if you want, um, when you go to eat it. So I'm going to stir this all together. And like I said before, just so you're counting on your leans, this has almost one lean. So you have a little bit room in your budget for a little bit of condiments on the top or like not condiments, but counting towards your leans with cheese or Greek yogurt. Um, I do have two veggies, like two and a quarter veggies per person in here. So you can do a little salad on the side. And because it is 96, four ground beef, you also get a healthy fat for the day. So this is going to be a perfect thing to have on snow day. You want to get a good shot at the top of that baby. We're just gonna let this cook on low for eight hours and add any more stock as needed. You heard me talking on our last video. Sorry, I think it just cut on. Here's a little bonus tip for you. You heard me talking in my last video about how we were having a hard time with the candy and missing it. I took this sugar-free strawberry jello and I mixed it half of what it was supposed to have according to package. So I did one cup of boiling water with a package. It's gonna make four servings of a healthy snack on Octavia. It's gonna be like Jigglers. You can see how thin it is. So I'm just gonna cut it into little cubes and it's gonna give me my gummy candy fix. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set.
babe, this is easily like 10 inches. <laughs> We might need to. That looks miserable. I guess what a father does for his children, right? The abominable Woo! snowman. Look at me. Woo! Not working. Thank you.